God wants us to give and worship and honor and praise to Him. And His living grace, His living grace is that motivator to us to give our abundance to bless the lives of others. Amen. Amen. And here's the thing. An unfair burden should not exist on those who have been blessed with abundance while those who may not be blessed as much decide they're just going to let those folks take the load. Amen. That's not how it's supposed to work either. God blesses people and abundance is not sin. As we said earlier, and we have a, an attitude in our society today that if I have less than someone else, they should be paying for me. Mm -hmm. That's the attitude. That person gives, and they should give out of a heart and love and give what God lays upon their heart. Let them give and give and give. That is not an excuse for me not to give. Amen. Right? Amen. Right? God requires them to give, but he also requires us to give. Yeah. He requires us to serve. Listen, uh, I can't sing, right? I'll never be on a stage. I'll never be a performer. Uh, I, I will never be that person that people want to hear sing because I can't sing. Right? As my daddy used to say, I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. But I will tell you what I can do. I can make a joyful noise. Right? Yeah. All right? Right? And that's what I do. Noise and screeching and hollering. But I do it because I've given what I got. Amen. Right? And there's someone else, Pastor Matt, he sings beautifully. Just because he can sing beautifully doesn't mean I'm not supposed to sing. Just because he worshiped doesn't mean I'm not supposed to worship. He don't pick up your slack. Right, that's good. Right, right. Uh, he don't pick up just because he sings like a nightingale. God doesn't mean I'm cut a responsibility of worshiping God. Wow. Come on, just because someone may be more gifted or more blessed than what you think that you are does not uh, take away your responsibility to serve God, to love God, to give God everything that you have. 